What happens if you mix blue coolant and green coolant? A lot of you have asked me that question and I've wondered the same thing myself. One of the reasons for asking that question is the strange brown fluid that myself and some of you have found in your intercooler expansion tanks, your intercooler coolant expansion tanks. So we're going to do a little bit of an experiment today. We are going to mix the two coolants and we're going to do it in various ways. First, we're going to do a batch of 100 ml blue coolant, 300 ml green coolant. And then we're going to do an even 200 ml, 200 ml blue and green coolant. And we are going to do the opposite of that, 300 ml blue coolant, 100 ml green coolant. I'm going to, I've got 600 ml of blue coolant here that I've taken out of the expansion tanks of my car. So they are pre-mixed with water and so they're antifreeze and water, hence the term coolant. I am then going to add a little bit of extra water because I have to mix the green antifreeze with water to make it coolant. And then we're going to do exactly the percentages that we need. And then we're going to have, a, we're going to see the results. And then we're going to do a final mixing without any water whatsoever to see if that makes any difference. So let's get started. So here we go guys, bottle 1 has 100 ml of blue coolant, bottle 2 has 200 ml of blue coolant and bottle 3 has 300 ml of blue coolant. So we're going to add 300 ml of green coolant to bottle 1, but that will be 50% water and 50% green antifreeze. So we are going to first add the water to each of these bottles and in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, that's done. So now we have the blue coolant plus the water element that we're going to add that we would have added with the green antifreeze. So all that's left is to put in the antifreeze. We will start off with bottle one. Okay. So we're just going to top it off to these lines. These lines represent 400 ml and hopefully we don't spill it everywhere. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. I was expecting the blue and green to mix into a different color, but let us now mix in with more blue. Okay, and now let's do that with the final. Okay. So let's just put some green coolant in this bottle just to see, just to show what it looks like without any blue coolant in it. So there you go. It doesn't turn brown. This is what it should look like. And if you add three, three parts green coolant and one part blue coolant, it looks slightly darker green and then it looks slightly darker even and then it looks very dark so let's have a look it's it's very uh very different it's very different okay i was not expecting that to be honest i was expecting it to change colors if you have very dark looking i don't know does this look brown maybe i uh, needed to do one more step where the green coolant is just a touch so that's what we're going to do here. We are going to add blue coolant. First, we're going to add blue coolant. So there's going to be no water in this one. We're just going to add blue coolant on top of the green. We're going to add blue antifreeze, excuse me, on top of the green antifreeze. And we're going to see if that has, if that looks any different to when there's water in them. But um, let me do one more thing. I'm going to shake them. I'm going to mix them better. So I'm going to close them all. And I'm going to shake them. Is what it looks like. Definitely a different shade of green. Let's close this so that I don't accidentally spill it. 
Okay. Okay. That had zero effect. That had zero effect on the color, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. And that had zero effect on the color. So, science. So let us add now. Let's add some blue coolant now. Blue antifreeze. I'll get it right eventually. Let's add some blue antifreeze. Okay. All right. So now it's equal parts blue and green antifreeze. You see, I would get it right eventually. And does it look any different? Oh yeah, color-wise it's the same, but it's uh, more opaque. This one is clearer, obviously, because of the water. So the only difference that I can see, I don't know if it's coming across on camera correctly, but the only difference that I can see, color-wise, is that this one is more see-through. So there you go. The brown fluid in the intercooler expansion tank, I'm 100% sure, 99.9% .9 sure, it has nothing to do with mixing coolants, green and blue coolant. Also, since I put blue coolant in my intercooler expansion tank, it hasn't changed color. It, it, isn't, it hasn't changed from blue to brown. So as far as I'm concerned, it is a completely different fluid. Now, some of you have found this fluid and you've gone to your BMW dealers and those guys have told you that it's normal. Now, I respect that, but get a part number from these BMW dealers. If it's normal, what's the part number, right? There's a part number here. They need to confirm to you what is the part number of this perfectly normal fluid so that we can check that it is a part number that we can find in the BMW IPC, Illustrated Parts Catalog. If we can't find it in there, if, if it's not a BMW part number, then how is it an approved part number? Let's add maybe some more green coolant and make the uh, percentage of blue to green completely different. Interesting. The first time you open it, it's difficult and then it just opens very easily. Very interesting. It's not child safe, it's just uh, transportation safe. All right. So now we've added Okay, what we have here now is one, two, three parts green coolant and one part blue coolant. It's so difficult to do mental arithmetic now that I'm old. And it pretty much looks like bottle one, where we have one part blue coolant, three parts green coolant. In this case, it's antifreeze. Sorry, I keep saying, getting it wrong. This is coolant because it has water in it and it's ready to go. This is just antifreeze. It still needs water to be mixed in to get the right uh, percentage. Otherwise, it's not going to do its job. Just antifreeze alone is not going to do its job. Water is the important element of it. But as you can see, I don't know if you can see it as well as I can, but it's exactly the same color. The color of the, of the mixture is exactly the same and the water has no effect on the color. It just affects how see-through it is. Okay. Okay, I'm going to leave these bottles the way they are for a week and see if anything changes. In the meantime, let me know in the comments below if there's something I should do with these fluids, if it's something I didn't think about. Because like I said, I've mixed them here at different proportions to see if that has any effect. And I've mixed them without water to see if that has any effect. And none of that, none of that has produced brown coolant. So let me know any ideas of what else we can do as an experiment to figure out what that brown coolant is in the intercooler expansion tanks. Intercooler coolant expansion tanks. Thank you for watching, guys. And uh, well, a little bit, a little bit disappointing, but there you go. Not all science is uh, is exciting, but I think this was a necessary experiment.
See you in the next one.